Hi, everybody. Welcome to another version of Hot Topics. And as you know, we're doing it by video. So here we go. The topic that I want to cover is uh, was sparked by an article on MindShift. And it was how to manage uncertainty. And, you know, everywhere I'm going today, literally almost everywhere, um, from a workplace point of view, when I talk to people, I'm hearing these words. Uh, uncertainty, 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 followed by... Uh, exhaustion, 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 followed by stress, stress, stress. And um, gosh, it's real. And, you know, and I've been thinking around how, what's really some practical ways of being helpful. And I ran into this article um, on the, the Garrett I'll share uh, that you'll be able to look in and read the whole thing. Uh, but it's it really got me thinking about some very practical things. And there were seven of them. And I don't always believe in these, you know, seven things or five things or whatever, but uh, th this is really, uh, I think, well thought through and developed and, um, and very practical. So and I'm just gonna highlight a couple of them. One is that um, the idea of, of just doing check-ins with ourselves, like, you know, one of the things that if you follow our stuff, we're encouraging people to do and we do it on Belongifying, we do it, uh, we encourage our clients to do it, is to always check in to begin with, give just a simple check in. Well, when we apply that principle to ourselves on a personal basis, it's kind of helpful to check in at the end of a day um, and just say, hey, what's a couple of things that I just want to jot down that really struck me today that I'm feeling about today? Um, you know, maybe two or three, just two or three lines. And, and you know, it's nicer, I think, and uh, when you help more helpful when you write it down. But even if you just yourself pause while you're maybe standing in the shower or going for a walk and you think about it. So that check in with yourself. How am I doing? What are a couple of things that I can talk about how I feel about the day today? Another one is uh, this idea about not shooting ourselves, like should do this, you should do that, when are you gonna do that, should, 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 should. And sometimes when a lot of things are outside our control, um, like the pandemic and other things that are adding to our kind of complications, um, adding more shoulds right now is not very helpful. We know that, right? But sometimes we should ourselves uh, uh, a little bit too much. And, um, and so kind of going along with that is that giving yourself permission to shut it down. Like, I mean, I don't want to sit there feeling guilty that I'm binge watching. Uh, and like last night, frankly, I binge watched um, the morning show on Apple plus TV and I'm enjoying that series. And Kathleen and I sat down there and watched probably three episodes. That's a lot more, but I just thinking after like, you know, I don't want to sort of feel guilty about doing it. I needed a break. And you know what? Too damn bad. Um, I just needed to quit doing some stuff, shutting it down, and just allow myself to just guilt-free kind of uh, watch that series for a bit. So there's a couple other things around there, you know, uh, like moving past <laughs> past shame for things that are outside of our control. and. It's a very practical article, and I really encourage you to just reflect on it. Help ourselves maybe a little bit more uh, through managing these uncertain times, and maybe it gives us a little bit more energy when we just put a little more intentionality. And the last, one of the last things, just to wrap up that article a little bit, is around even if you do uh, just one thing that you feel is pretty productive, just highlight it. Uh, even if you just cleaned up the closet, and I don't mean just even, that could be a big deal, but highlight a, a kind of a gift you've given to yourself in the world for the, the day. Anyway, read the article. Um, I think it helps. Navigating uncertainty. Um, it's a lifelong skill. And Yeah, the next uh, article I want to kind of point you to is uh, by a guy the name on the HBR article, um, uh, Harvard Business Review article by a guy by the name of Dan Gable, who's a prof at the, um, I think, the London School of Business um, Psychology prof. And uh, 
It kind of got my attention because it was uh, this idea of uh, we all need a personal highlight reel. And I don't know about you, but, you know, a lot of times I love watching Sports Center and I see a highlight reel, you know, or I, I, it's not unusual to see a highlight reel. And Gable's kind of point is that, uh, that, that we need personal highlight reels. And, uh, and sometime when you're going through trauma or change or disruption, we need to just ask people that, uh, we, that care about us and we care about them around, hey, you know, what are some times when you think I've been at my best? What are some things? And his argument, I think, is when you do that, you uh, build a highlight reel of yourself a little bit. And, and it kind of helps you reflect on what makes each of us unique and uh, somewhat exceptional. We all are in our own way. It's a matter about creating and finding your own highlight reels. So, and, and that sometimes that can be kind of energy creating at a time when you're facing things that are kind of sucking your energy away. So, you know, uh, I was thinking about that. And it may sound a little bit silly, like, you know, should I call up and just say, you know, but maybe I'll just, you know, if I ask Garrett and say, you know, when do you think I'm at my best? Um, what have you seen me do at my best? And I don't want them to, you know, everybody to go and try and search for stuff, but there may be stuff off the top of people's heads that might say, you know what, I think you were at your best when I saw you do this, or I heard you say that, or I, you made me feel this way. And I think that kind of builds a little bit of a, personal highlight reel. And I think we ought to do that. I think we ought to, sometime we can lose track of the fact that we are, uh, each of us, um, unique and exceptional in our own ways. And we get caught up in the things that, quote, we're never good enough at. And we kind of may be out of balance with um, the idea of creating our own personal highlight reel. So what, what the heck? They can do it on Sports Center. Why can't we do it in our own lives? Why can't we each of us have a little bit of our own personal highlight reel that um, that we can just put in the bank a little bit and kind of intellectually or watch whenever we need to we need to um, do that. A friend of mine um, has something called a big head file, and I love it. You may have heard me talk about it before, but I love this big head file. And whenever she gets an acknowledgement or recognition, she plops that recognition or that or that thing that she thinks was kind of a highlight for her in a big head file. And every once in a while, she pulls out that big head file and kind of just over a cup of coffee or something, looks through it and it's encouraging and reminds you of the journey you've been on. You know what, what the hell? Uh, no one else is gonna build a highlight reel for us, so probably, so why don't we do it ourselves? Our own personal ESPN type highlight reel. As always, uh, Join us on our socials, and this week, for the first time, we can invite you to go to belongify.com, belongify.com, to see what we're up to on creating conditions for belonging uh, in organizations. You know, we've been fiercely committed to driving culture improvement. A sub-narrative is creating conditions for belonging. We need more of it, every level, every place all of us, and uh, help us in our journey in this movement. We think it's really important, and we'd love you to be part of it. Belongify.com and the rest of our socials and everything else. Thanks for hanging out on Hot Topics, and hopefully see you next Friday.